Hey guys, Mr. T here, just doing another quick video on the area of a triangle using sine. So the sine ratio on trigonometry can be used to find the area of any triangle, it doesn't just have to be right angle triangles, when you have these two situations. The length of two sides are known, and the included angle is also known. So the included angle is the angle that's between the two sides that you know. It's the only way that this works. Given this, the following formula gives the area of a triangle, the area being 1 half times by A times by B times by the sine of the angle C. So for example, find the area of triangle PQR. Let's check that this situation can um, use this formula. You have the angle here. It's between two known sides. So the angle is the included angle. We have two known sides. We can use this formula. So let's fill in that formula. Area equals one half A. We're going to make that the left one, three. B, we're going to make that the right one, four, times by sine of the angle C, which was 145 degrees. So sine of 145 in the calculator. Sine 145 equals 0.575. It's ongoing. I leave that in the calculator, times that by 3, times that by 4, divide that answer by 2, you get 3.44, and it's centimetres to two decimal, decimal points. That's area, so it's actually square centimetres. Centimetres is the units used for the lengths, but we're finding the area of the triangle, so it's going to be square centimeters as the unit. So that's a very quick example of how to use the sine ratio in trigonometry to find the area of a triangle um, of any, any shape. Hopefully that video helps you out and I'll see you in the next one.